I've spent all day thinking about my son Mike and what I was going to say to you tonight. But it's been really hard to try and put his 26 years into just a couple of minutes. He was my miracle child. I was told that I couldn't have any more children. And after having my daughter, five years later, along he came. He was the joy of my life. He was the easiest son. He didn't cry. He went through the night at five weeks old. He was happy. He was always singing. He won all his school singing competitions. He was asked to sing professionally, but never had the confidence to do it. He collaborated with friends on songs. And he was into engineering in a big way. He just had that designer instinct. And he used to design for a trailer company, of all things. But if you needed something specialist, you'd go and see my mic, and he'd build it for you. Travelling around the Midlands like I do now sometimes, I'm behind a trailer, and it has his sticker on the back, and it makes me smile. It makes me smile now because it's four years later. Four years of agony, and I had that phone call, the same one you did. You better get here. Mike's hung himself. The whole journey, the hour journey that took me to get to him during lockdown, I wasn't, we weren't supposed to be driving. I couldn't take in what was happening. I can't remember that night, and I'm sure you all feel the same. I hardly remember the phone call. I can't remember who was there. The only thing I remember was when I got there, a policeman came up to me and said, sorry for your loss. I didn't even know he was actually dead at that point because they told me they were working on him when they rang. I said, who's with Mike? And they went, no one. He's just in the house on the floor. And I went, somebody should be with him. He's my son. And I went and sat with him until they came for him. It was COVID. All his friends couldn't come. We were restrict restricted by the amount of people who could come in. We had to turn people away. But he was the life and soul of everybody's party. He played American football, he played rugby, and he had hundreds of friends. And his coach from his American football team said to me, he had 50 friends, he had 50 brothers. All he had to do was lift the phone and ask. And he didn't. Those people who leave don't call. Mike was the tw 26 years, the best 26 years of my life. Thank you.